What's going on guys? Welcome back to Boondock Tesla. Today's video, I'm going to show you exactly the kind of wear and tear you can expect on your Tesla Model Y long range after one year of ownership and use if you live out in the country like I do. Now it's been one year and I recently did a one year review of what it's like to own a Tesla Model Y out here in the country. I covered a wide variety of topics, whether or not I would actually keep the vehicle, and what you can expect for a full year of EV ownership. But what I failed to do was show you the condition of the vehicle after a year of living out here, driving back roads, driving gravel roads, dealing with snow and inclement weather, mountain traffic, everything you can expect if you were to purchase a vehicle and you live in, say, Appalachia. Now, some of these nicks and dings I caused because, well, I just didn't pay attention to the service manual when I washed the car the first time. That was unfortunate. And because we live on a long gravel drive, nicks are kind of part of life out here in the country. So you expect it. But I want to show you what the Tesla paint job looks like a year into the use of this vehicle. So we're going to start down here at the rear wheel because this is where I see the most damage. It's kind of hard to see in the light, but you can see that these little dings right here are actually all nicks and scratches from gravel where it's kicked up and hit the quarter panel here. So this section right here on the back of the vehicle, you can see this is the back of the vehicle right here on the left hand side, it's got a lot of wear, okay? So we're these are rock chips, pretty consistent. We've got some here higher up on the door, I don't know if that you can see, it's about midway up on the door there. And then this plastic here, which actually I believe is the casing that goes on the exterior of the car and the battery is housed in this section here. This gets a lot of wear. So this is turning a different color than the black plastic around it. Doesn't matter if I use armor all or any type of protectant, that'll keep it black for a little while. But the second that wears off, it goes back to this like dusty gray color. And the vehicle's just been washed. So I know it's not dirt. Now, every vehicle we've ever owned living out here in the country gets some nicks and dings just because it's, it's inevitable. It's going to happen. A rock's going to fly up and scratch your paint job. But for the Tesla, it seems to be concentrated in specific areas. So we saw the left quarter panel there. Now we're going to go over to the right quarter panel. I'm going to show you what this one looks like. A little bit easier to see, but you can see it's got similar nicks and dings right here all up the rear quarter panel, this passenger side door here. This is really rough, okay? So we've got more on this side, strangely, than we do on the other side. Same situation down here on this plastic that covers the battery section here. We've got a lot of wear here. You can feel it's real rough. It's no longer smooth. And the, there's some discoloration between, say, this plastic here for the trim that goes around the wheel well and the color here. You can see that they're pretty significant. So that's not good, okay? Now, one area that I screwed up and actually damaged the paint job was because I did not read the instructions about washing the vehicle with a pressure washer. I got a little overzealous and I did this down here. Right there, that is where I nicked the paint with a pressure washer. Just did not do a very good job at all and uh, got too close with the pressure washer and that actually damaged the paint job there. So. Not cool on my part. Now, other than those few spots, the exterior of the vehicle has held up really well. As you can see, there's no major dents or dings in this thing. All of the glass has been excellent. We've not had any issues with that. All of the tail lights, headlights, we haven't had any issues there. You can see the windshield is in excellent shape. I'm not even sure we've had any rocks or anything nick the windshield. The upper portion of the glass is in really good condition as well. No issues there. All in all, I'm very impressed with how the Tesla has handled living out here in the country. Right now, what we're going to do is going to go ahead and move into the interior of the vehicle so you can see how that has worn. We're going to start with the number one spot in the vehicle, the driver's seat. All right, so here we have the driver's seat. I apologize for the sun and the way it's shading, but you can see that it's actually held up very well. This would be the main area that I would be concerned about on most vehicles because your thighs are kind of sliding over this thing as you get out of the vehicle. And I want you to see 
how the seat has worn. I don't know if you can tell, but the most wear we've got is right here in this back section. You can see some creasing coming on. This is about 26,000 miles, 27,000 miles worth of wear. We're not seeing as much up here, so this padded section right here is really good condition. Now this is Tesla's proprietary faux leather uh, material. Actually holds up really well, cleans up very well. All of the steering column components have held up very well. This is the side door here no major issues anything like that buttons are all good trims intact no issues no discoloration the illuminated door sills which i did a video on have held up very well you can start to see a little bit of discoloration in the plastic section here that's running along this footwell uh, from getting in and out obviously your boots shoes are scraping that but for the most part, held up pretty well. These are Tesla floor mats, and they have actually done really well. Been super pleased with them. Um, they've handled everything we can throw at them. No issues there, of course. There's the foot pedals. You can see the dust and mud on them from living out here in the country. But again, no major wear at the corners. They're not falling off. Looking at the dash, there's not any type of cracking or discoloration. Mechanisms here, everything's working great. No issues there got the aftermarket uh, steering yoke which I absolutely love holding up just great looking great again no discoloration on any of the trim which is absolutely awesome looking at the passenger side seat you can't really tell that there's any type of wear there's one little itty bitty crease right there I don't know if you guys can see that right there uh, on the whole this is held up really really well no issues with that the main center console here fantastic we don't have any type of looseness or anything like that in the center console again the dash no cracks no discoloration in the trim or discoloration on any of the lower portion of the glove box uh, no issues with any type of wear or holes in the actual fabric of the cell phone chargers which is fantastic in the rear of the vehicle much of the same we don't have a lot of rear passengers unless you count our two fluffy dogs the seats have held up really well there is no absolutely no creasing discoloration rips tears anything like that it is held up super well another tesla floor mat there does a great job i would recommend you guys get floor mats especially if you live in the country now here's one little area of discoloration right there you can see where i have i put a chair in here and it actually wore a little bit on the plastic of the back of the seat here there's a little bit of discoloration there so guys if you are hauling stuff in this vehicle make sure that you put some blankets or something around it was an exposed piece of wood and uh, just the vibrations of traveling these back roads wore a little discoloration here i've not been able to buff that out and get that back to uh, this this color plastic the actual glass has held up super well no discoloration no delamination from the tint or anything like that uh, very impressed same with the actual um, liner here no nothing falling down no discoloration now in the back here we actually purchased a trunk cover because we have two very fluffy dirty dogs that love to go on hikes and travel with us and we wanted to keep this area uh, as clean as possible but you can see that the trunk fabric here has held up really well i do want to show you guys up here if we get close enough you can kind of see that the carpet this low pile carpet there's a few sections along here where i vacuumed that actually start to get slightly fuzzy. So guys, if you are taking a vacuum and you're like rubbing the attachment over top of this and you do it quite often, I try to vacuum this at least once a week, sometimes uh, once every two weeks, just understand that this carpet will begin to fray a little bit. Uh, that's part of it, uh, unfortunately. This mat has been really good for um, hauling the dogs around, keeping this back area clean and in good shape. Now, there is a little bit of discoloration here. Uh, there's a few marks that we've put on the back 
uh, door here just by hauling stuff. It's really difficult to see because the light is not great. All in all, I'm very impressed with how the Model Y has held up. For a fully electric vehicle, it's performed better than some of the gas-powered vehicles that ha I've had. Now, I want to tell you guys about a video I'm going to be doing soon. Tesla actually has a paint chip repair kit that you can purchase off of the Tesla app. $60. You put in your paint code and they're going to send you a little bottle with some touch-up paint. I'm actually going to do a review, a full review, and show you guys from start to finish, opening up the pack, putting it on myself, trying to repair some of these chips that we have on the vehicle, and show you guys if it's worth it, does it work, what kind of quality can you expect after doing that touch-up paint, is it going to look a little blotchy and weird, I'm going to show you a full video of doing that service and see if we can't bring this paint job back to factory conditions. Fingers crossed. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.